I had been having a little bit of difficulty finding a replacement plastic trim piece for the Cessna 150 door handle. It's just a vacuum formed piece of plastic. This particular one here is at least a good 30, 40 years old and you can tell it's, it's seen better days. So I was having some trouble finding these uh, replacements. So I thought, well, uh, let me draw one up in SolidWorks and I wonder if it can be uh, SLS 3D printed. So I drew it up and I sent it out for printing. I use uh, Sculptio.com for all of my laser 3D printing. And I had really uh, low expectations for this because the thickness of this material, when I drew it up, this is 25 thousandths of an inch thick. This is uh, about five or six sheets of paper thick. And I wasn't really sure if that was, if it was gonna work. So it just came in today. And I'm happy to report that it printed out amazingly well. Um, kind of hard to do this with one hand here. Um, but yeah, it worked. And, you know, I had never, like I said, I'd never gone this thin with laser, the SLS method before. SLS is a selective laser sintering. So a laser uh, is focused on powder and it solidifies this plastic powder uh, where the laser is focused and uh, and creates a, a part a plastic part from powder so there you go 25 thousandths of an inch thick uh, SLS works wonderfully this and the finish is really smooth uh, with a little primer coat and some paint uh, this would totally pass for the ABS you'd never know the difference so super impressed with that I, I since I did all this, uh, I then found <laughs> a supplier for these uh, vacuum-formed ABS plastic um, for like 12 bucks. So I guess I won't be using this, but it was uh, at this point, it was just more or less just interesting to know that uh, in the future, should I need to print anything down to 25 thousandths of an inch uh, with the SLS uh, type of printing, uh, it's no problem, it, it works. So really cool i'd love to get an sls machine but really good ones are uh, uh price of a of a new car <laughs> so that won't be happening anytime soon but there you go laser sls 3d printing super thin uh works great for prototyping this is wonderful uh, i suppose if i was going to make these i would have i would have used this as a prototype to make sure i had the shape of the part and everything and the dimensions all just right then i would convert that model into uh, a model that would be used to create a tool that would be used for vacuum forming, like maybe an aluminum tool or something that I would then vacuum form my own. But hey, like I say, I found a place already that has them um, for like 12 bucks. So I'm not even gonna bother with it. So, but it was fun nonetheless to do it and get this anyway.